if um, you'll be able to hear me because it's so loud up here and it's not it's not nature loud it's like it's city loud so we're gonna try to like get out of this cityness a little bit and if it's a little bit more nature sounding and quiet you know too bad Lake area, it's awesome. It's so dope. And down that way, there's a little trail. Get some people over here walking. Yeah, surprisingly, I, I didn't expect to see people here. And there goes Bay. Bay is Instagramming. I'm telling you guys, this is just beautiful, man. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous how gorgeous this is. Looks like Jurassic Park. <laughs> so awesome. And today is also a 94 degree day, but this breeze makes it all right. Even though I'm sweating, it's like okay because the sweat is being swept off by this breeze so it kind of makes me feel cooler than if it was just the breeze so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I talk a lot about sweat because I sweat all the time. I'm one of those people that probably need to get like the Botox in my armpits but <laughs> just talking about putting Botox in my body kind of makes me... <sighs> Look at this. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> crazy and honestly I'm glad that we're doing this because it's so easy to sit in your room and be on your phone and you know what I mean mm -hmm. just it's so easy it's it's hot out it's more comfortable in the hotel why wouldn't I stay but this this is why because sometimes you got to take yourself out of your comfort zone you know to really find your true you know happiness you know see what's out there what's funny is when i first started this show or this um not this show this job um where i would go to you know i was in rhode island for four months now i'm in connecticut and i would always say oh we don't have that in florida oh my god we don't have that in florida and then i stopped saying it because i realized maybe we do and you are just too lazy and too content with doing the same thing over and over that you don't know what else is out there that you don't know so stop speaking for all of florida because you don't know what's in florida and when you go back home make it a point to get to know florida you know what i mean but until then i'm getting to know wherever i am yeah i'd, be, I'd definitely be down to check out see if they got some great spots in florida because i'm pretty sure they do but i've heard great things about the west coast of florida my mom has been to saint augustine which has like a lot of historical venues and historical sites and you know right right outside of florida is what georgia yeah i've been to st augustine too have you mm-hmm i've never been i was stranded there one time because <laughs> my uh, transmission went out Strand stranded there for like two days at a hotel headed to uh north carolina but hey it happens Got to see a little bit of there, you know, met a couple of locals. That's awesome. They were pretty nice. This accidentally turned into like this, yeah, like we're speed walking. Like, <laughs> You're I'm speed, like, walking. I'm speed walking. I'm just like so happy that right now. I'm just like, I want to get there. Yeah. I do. I'm excited. Um, I'm also enjoying the walk there. Yeah. Oh, we are actually walking by a public water supply so all persons are forbidden under penalty of law to fish bathe or commit any act or nuisance which might pollute this reservoir or its tribu tributaries 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 i've never seen that word before yeah 
I guess I can use kind of the context to determine that that means up that water or anything it contributes to or you're going to be majorly. That's pretty much what that means. Basically. But that's kind of precious. Like we're walking by like your supply, you know? Like when I go home and I take a shower, I'm going to be taking a shower with this water. <laughs> I won't be drinking it, but I'll be taking a shower with it. The water I drink most likely comes from Fiji or uh, France, but I'll be showering with that water right there. That water. That water. That water. Mm. So, I don't know about you, man. I'm pretty hot. I'm getting hot. Seems, seems to be the trend. I'm power walking more so than it's so hot out here. Because I feel like there's a breeze. If we were just like, you know, I wouldn't feel anything. Mm hmm. So maybe we should, but, you know, just. Yeah, we're going to do that. It's just that when we first started on this trail, like, right when we got to here it was like a steep hill and we were like right it was like a stair mask it's an incline my calves started burning once my calves start burning that's like you know like my old dancer brain is like okay muscles are burning it's time to and i'm like but i don't work out like ask this guy i'm so not working out i can't Your but time once my body is like doing some type of activity i'm like okay i'm done i'm going so then i was like Like, I could see myself, like, when people talk about, like, nature trainers that go out in nature with you and, like, you know, you use this pole to do your pull-ups or whatever, I'm more about that because I don't want to feel like the sole purpose of me doing, like, that's why dance is so vital because dance feeds the soul, it feeds your muscle, like, you're not just working out, you're, and we work out, like, we do way too much, you know, ab work and strengthening of this strengthening of that but at the end of the day it's a form of expression so you have that part of you know expressing who you are and working out in the gym feels that way for some people but it doesn't feel that way for me for me it just feels like I'm, I'm working towards some abstract concept like it's hard for me to picture like oh I'm building this muscle but with dance it's like I want to get three pirouettes down when I get three pirouettes down I feel like I've accomplished something you know what I mean and Next is like, I want to get my split this way. I want to get my leg up high that way. So it's like, it's easier to stay motivated. But, Some water. thank you. We forgot to bring water. Another crucial no-no. We're learning. We're learning. So you got the workout gear mm -hmm. going on today. I do. I'm so. trying not to be a walking advertisement for anyone, but one step up. I am pretty much wearing Nike. Almost mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What a little touch of forever. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I just knew I was going to sweat, so I wanted all my clothes to like absorb my sweat as quickly as possible. And I knew I was going to be hot. Yeah. Um, so, we're about a mile and a half give or take uh, from our destination <laughs> we don't know you know what it's gonna look like up there but hey the walk up there is so pretty that you know even if it's underwhelming we're not going to see like you know Louis the 14th well that's Versailles but <laughs> basically we're not going to see Versailles so how do you feel? I don't feel super burnt out, but I don't feel super energized either. I'm kind of... I wish I had water. Um, it's not that bad. I just wish, uh, you know... I guess, you know, because we're vlogging, it's taking a while for us to, you know, make it there. You know what I mean? And also, we don't have water, so we're not trying to, like, hike up there too harshly. Mm -hmm. Because we are sweating, so we are losing water. Yeah, I think we can take our time, be good for us. I also think that the faster we get up there, the faster we can get back. But hey, yeah, it's just me. Okay, let's get up there then. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do that hard hike. And yeah. And get there. <laughs> yeah. All right. You sure? Sure. 
All right, ready, set, go. So guys, um, we finally made it. Well, not just yet, we're about two minutes away. Doesn't really do it any justice, but came a long way. You okay, bye? <laughs> Hi. I think Look. I should have gone to the radio tower to call for help instead. Oh my gosh. On the brink of death. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> but I'm so glad I did this. Cause yeah. I feel great. No, definitely. The bugs are so annoying. Very. But they ain't gonna stop us. They're not gonna stop us from getting to where we want to get to. Okay, the 3.5 miles didn't scare us. It scared me. Because if you know me in high school, saw me run track. A mile at most. That was like me achieving the most, like the most achievement, biggest achievement. Except when I played soccer, but I didn't really play it like, ooh, we're on a team, guys, and I'm on the soccer team. So I didn't have to run like the six miles that soccer probably runs on a daily. <sighs> Actually, this part is very enjoyable. Yeah. I won't be here all night now. We just climbed like a straight up hill for 25 minutes straight. Okay, that part wasn't so nice because the breeze wasn't hitting us the right way, but now the breeze is back, so I'm down with it. <clears throat> Look, there's like trails and like we have to come here early, so we Yeah, so we're almost there. It may be lackluster. It may be worthwhile. We'll see. Alright. How you feeling, babe? I'm feeling good. It took us about an hour and a half. An hour and 15, 20 minutes. I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to get ahead of you. I'm just trying to get ahead of you so I can get a good angle. Real today, you guys. Uh, I feel good. Um, it took us about an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to take a seat at the top of this castle just for a minute or two, you know, to. Because <laughs> I'm old, you know, and I don't work out. made it up all the way and now we're heading down <laughs> oh we actually should have um well we'll show you because we're about to go out so you'll be able to see i just kind of wanted to film this creepy little inside part <laughs> said the view would be lackluster. They didn't know what they were talking about. Hey, babe. This is what you need to see. Got the sun setting. back down and go get some dinner probably something casual because I really don't want to should we go home and shower and then go to dinner somewhere all right well we'll see what we're gonna do Shortcut to go down, and then we were like, Oh, we hope, but 
we're not gonna take the chance we're just gonna go down the path that we came up because if we don't go down a trail it's like a dead end that means we have to go all the way back up that trail and then get back you know what i mean so, no. don't want to get lost